nigga. If you yeah. ain't drinking with your boy, fuck as you do. Yeah. So during this time, have you ever considered rapping? Because I've heard, an, I've seen an interview with you one time. You was like, you you wasn't even, I didn't even know that shit. You wasn't on the Don't Mess With Texas album. Nah, I wouldn't. So really, it, you were like, man, y'all doing that shit for fun. So at this time, you ain't never thought about rapping yet? or even Not like, seriously. Yeah. Hear me? But because back then we really was on some freestyle. Key hadn't even fucked with DA and them to start taking shit serious. So feel me? Like yeah, back yeah. then, hell nah. A nigga just freestyling, having fun, uh, trying to go to screw. Yeah. That was the big thing back then. A nigga really wasn't thinking about let's make an album and some records like Street Military and them, shout out. Yeah. Nigga was on some freestyle and listening to niggas. You feel yeah. me? But the thing was to go to school house. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You feel yeah. me? That was like the badge of honor, nigga. Yeah. I've been to school house, cuz, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, And yeah. I flowed on, I wasn't just at school house watching y'all niggas rap. Nigga, I was rapping. So that was kind of like the, you know yeah. Can you recall the day, the the day, like, you, you, you can remember the first day you meet somebody. Can you recall the day that you met Lil Kiki, the very first time you met him? Like, y'all introduction bro. to each other. I ain't mistaken, we was at Jones. Oh, at school? Yeah, at school. Yeah. You feel me? Cause see, when I used, like, when, when at first, at first, when we, when the nigga was like, remember I told Big Sean and all them, all them, the yeah. niggas I was telling you about, introduced me to Hershey. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Big G and all them, bitch. I had met Key yet, cause, you know what I'm saying? Like, Key used to be on the other side. He used to be down there at the end by Jones. Yeah, yeah. I used to be, we used to be like right there by, Windermill, yeah, feel yeah. me? So I kind of met Key. I'm going to say I met Key like in 94. I don't, it probably was before then, but I'm well, I ain't going to say met him, but. Y'all used to time. see each other in passing yeah, all the time. Yeah, yeah, because I remember when they yeah, yeah, been yeah. in the uh, cafeteria and shit. Yeah, yeah, feel yeah. Me? But he used to be hanging with, uh, at the other end with OG Russ and them, you know what I'm saying? And, uh. Nigga David, you know what I'm saying? So he was more like on the other end. Yeah. You feel me? So when I met him, we was going to Jones, you know what I'm saying? So I met him in the cafeteria. I think he was doing me like float freestyling or something. So he was freestyling already then. Yeah, he was had something, I think, bro. Yeah. I ain't gonna just but yeah, he he always he been serious, more serious than everybody else. So, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So don't mess with Texas drive. Ooh wee. Right? Ooh wee. And this took over the city. I'm not gonna oh, lie. Like this yeah. was this was I'm not even gonna I'm not taking nothing away from Houston before because I before that my favorite rapper is Pharaoh. <laughs> so let's get yeah, that clear. You know what Pharaoh. I'm saying? Free that nigga Pharaoh. But it wasn't nothing <laughs> like that I think that screw movement really built this city. You know what I'm right. saying? And got this city going like I that. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Don't mess with Texas. Come out. What was the vibe around at that time? Was it one person was serious with the music, oh. the other, the others not? You know what I'm saying? Okay. Or how, so look, look. Personally though, I feel like niggas was uh, putting a, like it was niggas put in position. You feel me? At the right time. So by the time Don't Mess with Texas came out, remember that was. After Key had went over there to, uh, you know, fuck with DA and them. Yeah. KK. Shout out KK. Uh, 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 you know, Hawkins, Pat. R. Yeah, because the movement already going. Yeah, the movement going. It's like some everybody doing their thing type shit. Remember I was saying that's how niggas got together because it was different cliques, yeah. different neighborhoods. Screw kind of like combined everybody like and took every nigga from every neighborhood. Really, to me, that's my opinion. Yeah. Like Key was from our hood. Pat was from Dead End, House from Dead End, boom. Pope from Yellowstone, you know what I'm saying? Flip from, uh, club, like, shit like that. Back yeah. So, so it's kind of like, to me, you know what I'm saying? Everybody linked up, you know, pause, because it's like, no, I got because you got to look at it like this, shit. Key and Pat and them start going, you know what I'm saying? You start wanting to hit them niggas all yeah. the time. You feel me? So I feel like that kind of, like, solidified it. You know what I'm saying? That that put everything in perspective. Yeah. To start taking it more serious. And I start seeing everybody doing their thing. Yeah, yeah. And then there it go. But so I could say to me, the niggas that 
that sound that sounded good. Take a seat, street military, street military, the body boy too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what so I'm you going didn't, on you didn't. Let me ask you this, then. So you didn't think that? No, nah, I mean I know you had fake. He was gonna do his thing because he was already blowed up. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah he had. And then that draped up and drip. Yeah. With down. all that. Then you know, because the first time, first first song I heard on the radio with Key mm -hmm. was that "It's Going Down in the Ace Town." Young G's oh, yeah. the side, the, the Biden Boy, yeah. right? Yeah. And shout out to Biden Boy because they were the first to do a lot of shit for yeah, Houston, yeah. right? So with that, with the screw tapes being popular, you didn't never think that that shit was gonna really take off like that. Like you still thought it was just for, like because because you uh, not yeah. because y'all. You got to look at, I didn't say that. I, I was just looking at it like, remember I told the freestyle just always been fun. And yeah. Something to do. You know what I'm saying? When niggas start listening to songs, nigga didn't actually wrote, sit down and wrote a song. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. But as for saying, man, that shit going to take off. That shit going to be legendary forever. That yeah, was, yeah. I was in the streets. You know how it be? Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, yeah. Oh, studio, oh. Feel me? <laughs> like I was doing my thing, thing. So it was like, and to be fair, entertainment it take a long time to reap the benefits. No doubt. So that's another reason, probably, why you looking like, well, shit, ain't nobody making ain't no, no money. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah gotcha. it was like, oh, yeah. that shit. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, Niggas yeah. ain't just pulling up in no with yeah. mansions and, yeah, that yeah. I know of. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So I was really one. Then I really, you know, like I said, I was focused on something else. However, you yeah. know, if you say but. Yeah. You negate everything you said before that. Yeah. So, however, yeah. uh, I did start noticing that niggas' rhymes start being different. And, you know what I'm saying? It start being that structure. You know, like, putting the song together is structure. So, it was like, Yeah, oh. niggas, okay, taking it serious. Yeah, niggas saying, yeah. <laughs> niggas ain't just saying, I'm going to come down, nigga. It was, yeah. niggas, this, and this, and this, and we're going to rap about this. And that's, oh, that. You feel me? Yeah. But like ass up, like blowing up.